Your success will depend on your ability to manage your time and organize your thoughts. The way you spend your time is entirely up to you, and time management is a choice. To ignore what is really at hand, we procrastinate and engage in unproductive activities to waste time. While it may work for a few minutes, wasting time adds up when tasks must be completed. Simply controlling what you do and when you do it can help you accomplish more and get closer to your goals. The simple act of considering your time before using it will immediately begin to improve your personal time management and boost productivity. Therefore, why do people choose to waste time? By doing this, you are literally wasting time rather than maximizing it. It's a vicious cycle to waste time. What begins as a brief break can quickly turn into hours spent online. It impedes your workflow and feeds your lack of action. Think about what you aren't accomplishing when you find yourself scrolling the internet aimlessly in one of these situations. Your task will take longer to complete the more you put it off. When a task seems too difficult, you may not want to begin. Instead of finishing this one task, you come up with random things to do, wasting your time. I have also been there. I'd like to give you five of my favorite ways to stop wasting time and get things done. Time is a limited resource that is priceless. You'll accomplish your objectives much more quickly the more you value your time. Managing your time requires a different way of thinking about things. Therefore, changing your perspective on it is the key to making effective use of your time and not wasting it. One of the mistakes that causes people to be depressed and to lack a sense of accomplishment is to focus on trivial matters. How come we waste time? Have you ever considered asking this? Doing things that don't add anything to your life and only serve to distract you in every direction is called, wasting time. There are, in my opinion, two primary reasons why we waste time. First reason. There are no objectives to pursue. You won't be able to focus on anything if you don't have a goal to aim for. If you don't have a goal, you'll be distracted by everything, which could lead to a lot of stress and anxiety in life. The vast majority of distractions have a negative impact on your life as a whole. You'll feel like a slave to your mind, which will go wherever it pleases. Setting meaningful goals is important because of this, and ensure that they are sufficiently clear because doing so will make achieving them much simpler. Second reason, time isn't important to you. Time, in my opinion, is the only scarce resource that cannot be expanded upon. I want you to know that time is not the same as money as you are reading this. The common misconception is that it takes more time to earn twice as much money as you currently do. You can't get back the time you spent reading this blog post, but you can make as much money as you possibly can. Do you wish to put an end to wasting time? Are you worn out from putting things off? Do you want to work instead of wasting time? The more productive you are, the more motivated you will be to get things done and you will manage your time better. However, don't confuse being productive with being busy. Let's look at my seven cutting edge ways to stop wasting time and get more done. 1. Eat your ugliest frog first is discussed in my book Eat That Frog. Get the hard work done first. Take on the task that is weighing you down or the most difficult item on your list and finish it. To complete the most difficult task first requires discipline, but it is a habit that will improve your performance and productivity. Sometimes you have to just get started and forget about how you feel. Successful people put their heads down and complete difficult tasks, despite the fact that no one wants to. 2. Establish some objectives. The first thing you should do is establish some objectives. Because failing to do so will leave you unable to concentrate and at the mercy of everything that comes your way. Take a piece of paper and make a list of three important objectives that you want to accomplish. 3. Deal with distractions. Your inability to deal with distractions, particularly those arising from social media, is what is wasting your time. Your phone is the first thing that gets in the way. I'm not suggesting that you should get rid of it. Rather, make use of its advantages to achieve your objectives. There are a lot of apps that can help you focus and pay attention for a while by dividing up certain tasks for you. Tomorrow never comes. Tackle it now. Procrastination is a killer of all things. Don't be fooled by putting something off until you feel like it or think there is a better time to finish up. The time is now, not later. Does your procrastination resemble a little fun on Pinterest, trolling Facebook profiles and your news feed or other types of busy work? Well, just stop right now and realize what you aren't accomplishing. You are setting yourself up for doom and gloom because when you take the time to review your completed list, nothing got done or was only half managed. Set a to-do timer and commit to it. 
Forget the non-essentials, your time robbers and focus. Know what is important and why. Make your list with action steps and stick to it. Create task reminders. Use whatever system works for you, but use a system. 4. Create a to-do list. A to-do list is an essential tool for staying organized and accomplishing tasks. Writing down your tasks will help you keep your focus and clarity, which are essential for staying on track for the longest time. Because you will be easily distracted by new things if you are only thinking about things you want to do and not writing them down. It's also helpful to tackle your most difficult, to DOS, first thing in the morning, when you're typically most alert. You won't be as motivated to get started on a difficult project at midday after lunch. Make a plan for the rest of your day after that has been completed. I suggest listing things in order of importance or urgency. A good way to put your organizational skills to use and prioritize tasks to save time is to make a to-do list. What must you finish today? What are some things you can put off until later? Even more specifically, what requirements must be met today prior to a particular time? Beginning with that item, work your way down the list until you reach the items on the list that aren't urgent. Your list seems easier to complete now that you have dealt with the most unpleasant frog. 5. Track your progress. The best way to achieve your goals is to make progress. If you don't see any progress, how can you continue to show up? Pleasure moves our brain. It motivates you to stay on the line and keep pushing when you notice any growth and development in what you're doing. 6. Give yourself credit. Recognizing your accomplishments and giving yourself credit will speed up the process. Celebrate right away when you complete a task that took a lot of effort. 7. Make time for short breaks. Plan time for brief mental breaks. I'm referring to 10 to 15 minute blocks of time. Scheduling some time to unwind is not the same as browsing the internet aimlessly when you could be working on something. Breaks from your mind are beneficial and actually help you get more done. Choose something that will temporarily divert your attention from the task at hand. This usually requires me to step away from what I'm doing. Take a moment to stand still and close your eyes. If that's not your thing, spend a few minutes interacting with others to refuel. Discuss a non-work related topic with your co-workers. Just avoid interfering with their work. Prioritizing is the root of all small business evil. You must take the time to sit down and prioritize your day. Ideally before you leave the office, have a list written for the next day. Once you have a priority of daily tasks being organized becomes easy. Don't waste time. When you waste time, you miss out on chances to do and be more. People who are successful make the most of every moment and every hour of their day. Learn to identify the things that keep you from completing your daily tasks. Consider this. Learning how to manage your time well is a habit. Your decision to devote your time to what matters most is the first step.